Hi, I'm Eric with Matthews, and in this video, we'll take a look at how to troubleshoot a burner that lights but goes out within the first few seconds. We know a couple of things about this burner already. We know that you're getting gas and that you have a good spark because you're able to get flame. But the fact that the flame is going out within the first couple seconds tells us that we're not detecting that flame with our flame sense rod. The first thing we'll want to look at is inspect our flame sense rod. You'll have one of a couple different versions here. You may have a Midco flame sense like we see here, or you may have a similar uh, flame sense rod to the one we see here. Both work in the same way. Um, this rod will go directly into the flame and will send a signal back to the ignition board if a flame is present. Um, it's important to make sure that the wiring is secure on the back of the flame sense. Our flame sense signal wire on a 120 volt Fenwall board should land on the spade we see here, S1, and there should be a ground wire from this spade, B ground, from the board to a ground lug on the panel. Make sure that that wiring is secure. If you have a 24 volt ignition board uh, from Fenwall, it'll be 9 and 10, 10 being your sense wire, 9 being your ground. If the flame sense rod doesn't appear to be damaged and all of your wiring is secure, the next thing we want to make sure is that we're getting enough fuel and a flame right by the ignition uh, flame sense rod. So let's take a look at a Midco burner. You'll notice that inside the burner there are flame uh, ignition ports all around to let fuel into the burner. You could have a situation where 90% of the burner has a good flame but we're not getting a flame right over by our ignition rod. So if I install my ignition rod and spark assembly into this burner, we can see that only about three or four of the fuel ports are lined up behind the ignition rod. Make sure that all of those ports are clean. If everything appears to be clean and the components don't seem to be damaged, you might want to try adjusting the flame sense rod higher or lower. We want to make sure that we're not putting the rod above the flame or below the flame to where you might have a good flame, but we're not seeing it. If everything appears to be okay, you might need to replace a flame sense rod, or you may need to replace an ignition board. I hope this video has been helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.